I want to find the exact value of sine 18. So calculator, it's it gives you not the exact value. It gives you a best uh, an approximation of sine 18. So let me show you sine 18 is uh, this is in degree radians. I'll change to degrees first. Sine 18 has to be positive because it's in the first quadrant. So sine 18 is 0 0.3090. So this I want to write as an exact value. So sine 18 is what I want to find. I'm going to use some trig ratios and trig identities. Okay, I want uh, you to also know two other results which we have already proved in the class. Okay, so I'm going to say, let me write the two results that you should know. One is sine 2 theta. Sine 2 theta is, this is the inner formula sheet, so this is 2 sine theta cos theta. And the other formula is cos 3 theta. Cos 3 theta is, you can also prove this using compound angle formulas, is 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. And also the quadratic formula where x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to let uh, theta is equal to 18. So well, I can say phi theta is going to be, multiplying both sides by phi, is going to be 90 degrees. So this is 18 degrees, so this is 90. So phi theta can be written as 2 theta plus 3 theta is equal to 90. So now taking away 3 theta from both sides, or taking 3 theta to the other side, 2 theta is 90 minus 3 theta. Okay, and now I'm going to do take sine on both sides. So sine 2 theta is equal to sine 90 minus 3 theta. And sine, you can use the compound angle formula, or you should also know sine and cosine are complementary. So sine 90 minus 3, 3 theta is going to be cos 3 theta. So I can say, well, Oops. So I can say uh, using uh, so sine 2 theta is going to be equal to cos 3 theta. Okay, using now the formula sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. So this becomes 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to what can we do on the right hand side? Well, I can factor out this cos theta. So this becomes cos theta times 4 cos squared theta minus 1 minus 3. Now you can divide both sides by cos theta, but mathematically it is wrong in the sense because cos theta can be zero. So I'm going to write this equal to zero. So the next step can be written like this. So two sine theta cos theta minus cos theta times four cos squared theta minus three is equal to one. So now, well, I can factor the cos theta out. So that becomes, if you factor the cos theta out, you have 2 sine theta. And you have got this minus, so this will become minus 4 cos squared theta. And minus and minus is going to make this plus 3. And now this should be 0, not 1 plus 3 is equal to 0. So 
So now this is a quadratic form. This times this is zero. So I can say, well, cos theta is zero. And this is also zero. So two sine theta minus four cos squared theta plus three is equal to zero. We are not interested in this part. Okay, we are interested in sine 18. So we are not interested in cos 18. So I'm not going to bother to solve this. Okay, now solving. So now I can say, well, I can write cos squared as one minus sine squared. So this becomes two sine theta minus four times one minus sine squared theta plus three is equal to zero. Now expanding this further, so this is two sine theta minus four plus four sine squared theta plus three is equal to zero. So this becomes a quadratic equation two sine squared theta, sorry four sine squared theta plus two sine theta. Uh, minus 1 is equal to 0. I'm going to change this into a quadratic form. So, well, I can say let m is equal to sine of 18 or sine theta, which is sine 18. <coughs> so, this becomes 4m squared plus 2m minus 1 equal to 0. Now, using quadratic formula, our a is, this a is 4, b is 2, and c is negative 1. So, I can say, well, m is equal to, using the quadratic formula, is negative b, so that will be negative 2 plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. So, b squared is going to be 2 minus 4 times 4 times negative 1 over 2 times a, which is 2 times 4. You can simplify this. Hopefully you've done this, so I have uh, saved time by doing this in ahead of you. So this is square root of, this is going to be 2 plus 16 square root of 20. Square root of 20 is square root of 4 times square root of 5. That is 2 root 5. And then I factored it 2 out. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So the final is, final form of m is minus, so let me write it out like this. So m is minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 4. Now what is m? Well, m is sine theta or sine 18. Sine theta, this is your theta, and theta is 18. That's where we started is you can say minus 1 plus root 5 over 4 or you can say it is minus 1 minus root 5 over 4. Well, can sine 18 which is in the first quadrant be negative because this is going to be negative, this top number is going to be negative divided by 4 is going to be negative so this is not possible. So this is the only answer so we can say sine 18 so let me rewrite sine 18 is is root 5 take away 1 divided by 4 to be exact so this is sorry sine 18 degrees is so let's check this on a calculator so so this is what we started with sine 18 is this so if you enter in the bracket shift root so let me enter again. sine 18 is this value and if you go bracket shift root 5 take away 1 divided by 4 is that same number so this is the exact value of sine 18 so now from sine 18 you can also find cos 18 and if you know the value of sine 18 and sine 15 hopefully you know the value of sine 18 uh, sorry you know the value of sine 15 uh, sine 15 can be found by using 
the compound angle formula of sine 45 minus 30. And uh, from that, you can also find the value of sine 3 degrees. So your next challenge would be to find, uh, you know, sine 15 degrees. So you know sine 18, you know sine 15. So now you can find sine, th sine 3 degrees.